Yu-Gi-Oh! is in a terribly stale state right now. Honestly, they make a bag of stale Doritos look more appeasing. Jesus Christ, Konami, can you just give us a fucking ban list? Let's dive on into this baby bad boy shit, shall we? Destroy that boo-boo stain on that subscribe button so we can get to 900 and eventually 1,000 subscribers. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy AvrielR32 here. I feel like I need to say my username more in my videos because no one knows how to pronounce it. They think it's AvrielR32 or Avri Allure 32. I don't know. It's Avery LR32. Lord have mercy. I, I know. I suck ass at making YouTube names. It was a mistake and I just stuck with it. So anyways, smash that subscribe button so that we can get to a thousand subs. Currently sitting at 817. Thank you all so much for the support. So I want to talk about the staleness in Yu-Gi-Oh! right now because Lord have fucking mercy. We need a ban list. And really, this hit home for me yesterday. Uh, can you guess what card really made me stop play testing Sprite until we get a new fucking ban list? If you guess Mystic Mine, you're fucking right. Ah, <sighs> Jesus Christ, this card needs to be banned so fucking bad. So, I've been play testing Sprite like crazy. I've been play testing using Nimble Beavers, Deep Sea Diva, the Dark Beckoning Beast package with opening of the Spirit Gates. I really want to learn Sprite and I feel that I have a really good grasp on the deck. I just need to fix up some of my technical play and things like that, which I'm about to explain why I need to fix my technical play a bit uh, in this match that happened uh, just yesterday, actually. And I was playing against Sky Striker. Now, I'm going to be honest, I was salty that I was losing because, you know, I'm just going to be perfectly honest, Sky Striker is held together with Mystic Mine. So I may have cussed the guy out a little bit and said, you know, you're playing a deck that's held together with glue, uh, popsicle sticks, and paste from your fucking first grade kid who ate paste at your school and Mystic Mind. Like, Mystic Mind holds that deck up. And I'm not afraid to admit, when I came in 27th place playing Brandon Eldelich at that regional a couple weeks, or like a couple months ago now at this point, the deck was held up by Mystic Mind. Mystic Mind won me so many fucking games because people just couldn't deal with it. They didn't have the back row removal. You know, when you're playing a deck like mine that was three Demise the Land, one Metaverse, one Set Rotation, three Mystic Mind, you can't tell me that Mystic Mind is not helping hold that deck up. Mystic Mind gets banned. That build that I had of Eldelich is just dead. It's fucking dead. And so, you know, I, I straight up told him this and then I rage quit because, you know, here I am with my established board of, of five monsters and a sprite elf and a, or excuse me, four monsters and a sprite elf because I had a starter set, but then I got out dupe frog, so it was five. Um, but regardless, I could have done better technical play to out the Mystic Mine. When the first card he activated was terraforming and not Dark Ruler no more. I should have chained the Ash Blossom and then chained my starter to get out the carrot uh, because I think I had like one space open because I couldn't get Dupe Frog or something like that. Anyway, I had one space open. So I should have chained the starter on Chin Link 3 to get out carrot and then when he played the Mystic Mine, I could have outed it. I get that in that regard of technical play, I had the answer to it and that's why my technical play does need to get better. But yet, think about what my board was. I had the field advantage. I popped off with Sprite and he's beating my fucking ass because he was able to out like what two Omni negates I had in the form of Ash and Toad. And then he plays out Mystic Mine and just starts beating my ass and like two turns go by and I still don't draw a Sprite Smasher. So I rage quit because I'm like, look, man, the card needs to be fucking banned. When you have, excuse me, when you have one card in the game that is a field spell that you can get to in so many damn ways, whether it's set rotation, terraforming, demise the land, metaverse, you know, I just named off all the cards that I played in my 60 card branded auto to get to Mystic Mind. Like, you can't tell me that that card is balanced. It's fucking not. When one card can hold up a whole deck, it is bananas, especially when field spells are so damn searchable. And so now I'm just like in a position where I'm like, Konami, you gotta fix your fucking shit. Like, honestly, like, it really brings up a whole bigger discussion with the ban list that uh, obviously the Konami R&D team does not have thick skin and hate dealing with trolls because it's like, they're the type of kid like that you used to grow up with where if you started making fun of him just a little bit and he'd be like, I'm taking my ball and my toys and I'm going home. I'm going home. And in this case, you don't get a ban list date. Meh. And it's like, bro, the community of trolls, which is far less than the majority of the Yu-Gi-Oh community that is not trolls that are going to troll you about the ban list or like an update to Master Duel, Duel Links, whatever, excuse me, Master Shits. Um, 
that community is always going to be there no matter what you do, like in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! in general, not just the fucking ban list. You know, years ago, we used to have, like, let's say for this ban list, it would say from May 17th to, let's say, August 17th. So you knew by August 17th, and usually they would release it earlier, sometimes like a week earlier or a few days before that end date of the ban list, they would release the ban list. So you knew by August 17th back in the day, okay, cool, we're going to get a ban list by the 17th. They may release it a couple of days early or a few days early or like a week. And the the issue with that that even konami themselves said in an article back in like march of 2012 when they actually talked about why they hit cards on that particular ban list we're going to be discussing that in a minute and they explained that that end date held them in a bind where they couldn't just watch the game develop they knew that they had to put out some kind of ban list you know and then they didn't want to be stuck in a position where you know there's a problem card and then they can't hit it you know we've only ever seen one adjusted list and that was back when pepe was tier zero and they ended up banning plush fire and a few other things um so i'm sure that they want to avoid issues like that where they have to suddenly hit things you know out of the blue that the community is not expecting and then you know hurting their investment or hurting the deck that people really want to play you know things like that but there was a perfect happy medium when they would have the no later than or no sooner than date. You know, the next update after this will be no later than August 17th, let's say, or August 13th. I personally think it's going to come out on the 13th because then two weeks from August 13th, we have the YCS in Brazil. Last valence that we got for this May 17th one came out two weeks before the YCS and I think it was Hartford. So take that with what you will, my bold predictions that it's going to come out on August 13th, maybe by the 20th. But see, the issue is, though, too, with that, they're already in regional season. Like every weekend, Saturdays and Sundays, there are regionals. Well, I've got one on September 10th and September 17th. And if we're still in this ban list, this current one from May, I'm not going to fucking play because I don't want to be in this old fucking format where we have branded and sword soul full power with three mystic mine and all of this other shit that people are complaining about. And it really is just... It's asinine, like I've talked about before when I did that little Jim Sterling video where, you know, I made fun of the fact that they say in a few months. And it's like, okay, it's been a, a few months. It's been three fucking months. Where the fuck's our ban list? And, you know, it, it's it's just something that I think Konami needs to work on overall or bring back the no sooner than or no later than date. Yeah, people gave them shit for it. And then they got pissed off and upset. And they're like, oh, well, you're going to make fun of the date. We're going to take it away. Again, people are still going to fucking troll you no matter what. And so... You know, the date, though, I think had a perfect medium because people that wanted an end date kind of got that. And then the people that wanted to let Konami just let the game evolve as it needed to kind of got that, too. You know, both parties got a little bit of what they wanted, not everything, but a little bit. And now it just says in a few months. And especially when you're in a format like this, that's just so fucking asinine with whether whether you hate Dagda, whether you hate Scythe, whether you hate Hauk, Mystic Mine you name it, there are problems in this format. In some formats, there are more problems that are more profound than in others. You know, I would I would argue that, honestly, if Konami didn't want to do much on the ban list, I would be happy at this point if they just banned Hauk and banned Mystic Mine. And I would be happy, personally, because then at that point, they can let the three new decks that have come into the format with Power of the Elements, that being Exorcist or Tier Elements, and Sprite, they can let those decks evolve and get molded into the meta that we already have of Sword Soul, Branded, all these other things, and see what happens to the format. They just clean up a couple problematic cards. Maybe they also ban Scythe, or maybe Scythe and or Dagda. You know, we don't know. But it's like, this happens every few months that we're waiting on a fucking ban list, where we're, the community's like, the game's stale. Where's the ban list? Where's the ban list? And it's like, why are we constantly, like running around with chickens with our heads cut off, talking about the same issues that pop up every goddamn few months. It's so annoying. I guarantee to you in like six months from now when we're waiting on the next ban list or three months when we're waiting on the next ban list, whatever, that we're going to be talking about the same shit. Where's the ban list? There are problems in the game. Why are they making us wait? Why don't they communicate more? And here's the thing that I want to bring up on the end of this video Konami has not actually explained why they hit cards on a ban list because there was so much fucking backlash and explained how the ban list to them functions as a whole. They have not posted an article about that. I kid you not. Since March of 2012. That should speak volumes on how much Konami fucking cares about explaining why they hit things on the ban list and 
conveying to the community when they should expect to see a list. You know, the reason why that March 2012 one came out is because windups were hand looping people for five and if they had pot of avarice then six and other issues in the game in Zectors at the time that the community was pissed when all they did was hit tangu plants when there were other problems in the game but it was because that at the time when the balance had an end date those were the things that were an issue and windups and insectors and all that were too new to be hit so they focused on tangu plants even though that had already kind of moved out of the meta it had been power crept but now since 2012, we haven't had shit. Even when we had that ban list in 2019 when COVID had first hit and they brought back the three, like three cards, Necroz, a Unicorn, Multifaker, and uh, Ulti Canahawk, you know, we had issues in that format. Block Dragon was an issue. I think Hauk was in that format. I could be wrong. It may have not come to the TCG yet, but I guarantee people were complaining about Hauk then. People were complaining about Eldritch. People were complaining about uh, True King of All Calamities because Virtual World was a top tier deck at the time. And you had to play one of those three decks, either Eldritch, Out of Man's Pater, or Virtual World because those were the top three best decks at the time. And people bitched and complained. And Konami didn't even release an article with that. And they had much less hits than the March 2012 list. So... Guys, we're going to be keep on doing this fucking song and dance every few months, I guess, until Konami gets their thumb out of their ass, which they probably never will. But I have to sit here and not play Test Sprite, because if I want to do that in this format, at this point, I'm just going to goldfish hands and work on my technical play that way. Because I can run scenarios in my head. I don't have to sit here on EDO Pro bashing my head against a wall with my ball <laughs> to, to play test against shit that might be irrelevant come next format. Because, I mean, let's be honest. And this is not to dig at Sky Striker players. I'm just being completely honest here. This is what you get on the fucking channel. This is my personality on the channel. You know, I'm not going to waste my time playing against a fucking Sky Striker deck that I know without Mystic Mind I can beat like 99 out of 10 times. Because if they take Mystic Mind out of the fucking equation, then the deck is totally different than what it is right now. Again, that's not to dig at Sky Striker players. I'm just trying to make a point that any deck, not just Sky Striker, is held up by one individual fucking card and you're beating me because of it when I have clearly had you beat because I was able to build a board and one card destroys that. You could argue that Dark Ruler does the same thing, but regardless, when it's a field spell that hits you like that every turn, not just for that one turn in the form of Dark Ruler, that's a fucking issue. And when you have big issues like that in the game and you're just refusing to give us a ban list, it creates this stale fucking format. So guys, please let me know what you think down in the comments below. Am I totally wrong? Let me know in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.